Just breaking this afternoon, Hurricane Harvey, now a Category 3 storm. It is barreling towards the Texas Gulf Coast right now. Winds of up to 120 miles per hour. That coming from the National Hurricane Center. That is 193 kilometers an hour. As it races towards the Texas Gulf Coast, it's poised to be the strongest storm of its kind to hit the U.S. since Katrina. There hasn't been a storm like this for 47 years here. So there are there are people I know who were small children when it happened, but we ha the port hasn't really experienced anything like this. Uh, the rain event is is the big question mark. We have no idea how long that may go and what has to happen after the storm passes. So the good news is we have a lot of experience in dealing with these issues. Uh, Galveston's official position is we are prepared. We're not panicking. Some 8 million people are under hurricane warnings. With Harvey expected to make landfall overnight and into the early morning hours tomorrow, as a Category 3 storm. Many taking the alert seriously, evacuating communities across the Texas Gulf Coast. NASA sharing images from the International Space Station showing the storm's massive footprint. FEMA is warning storm surges can be one of the most dangerous and damaging parts of a hurricane. The storm surge unit at the National Hurricane Center tweeting this. What does the forecast of a 6 to 12 foot of storm surge flooding from Harvey mean? For reference, the ceiling at our office is 11 feet. They shared this pic. Harvey is poised to be a major test for Donald Trump as the first domestic natural disaster under his watch. The president tweeting today that he's been briefed on the storm by members of his inner circle. The White House Homeland Security Advisor saying today that the president is prepared. But this is right up President Trump's alley. Not only has he showed leadership here, but his entire focus has been on making America great again. When we go in and brief him on the preparations for this hurricane, he is acutely focused on making sure that, and just the right thing, by the way, that the American people in the storm's path have what they need. Trump, by the way, will be spending this weekend at Camp David. The threat of the storm has already disrupted oil production in and around Texas, halting nearly 10% of offshore operations. Roger McKnight with NPRO predicts that if damage from Harvey is severe, we can expect prices at the pumps to increase here in Canada. Officials in the U.S., they don't want to draw comparisons between Harvey and Katrina. And we're not seeing any sort of comparison in terms of the social media presence that this storm is having. Constant updates from different services in the U.S. online. Here's one from Twitter. We're seeing this one come in, a satellite image of Harvey. It is looking fierce. We're also getting an update from the National Weather Service. Just the language they're using alone, very serious. Harvey is a dangerous, life-threatening storm. I want to say, too, that price hike that we could see in Canada, if damage is severe, it could come our way starting Wednesday.